Yeah, I mean, I definitely was, I felt really good before, like, going on the court. Um, I had to wait a while before I before I went on. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I felt felt good going on, and then it was like, when I got out there, I just felt like, I did feel really tight, like you said. Um, I think the, the nerves that got the best of me today a little bit, especially in the first set, the second set, I started playing a lot better. Um, uh, and making the points a little bit longer, but but yeah, the first set definitely. Um, I kind of like the crowd was like really really loud, and, and it was just like a lot. I think and the second I got there, it kind of like I guess overwhelmed me a little bit. So. Yeah. You think it's a carryover from last year? The people were so excited, you were so excited, a lot of expectations, and I just wonder if you said something like everybody has one Cinderella story. Yeah. Was, I mean, can you still go and, and be the, another Cinderella? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I mean, at least now, like, coming to next year, no one will really expect that much from me, so I guess that's good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, I gave everything I had today, and, um, she, I mean, Alana's a really good player, so, I mean, congrats to her. Hopefully she uh, she does well in the next round. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's tough coming back, especially after, like, the year I had after the U.S. Open I had last year, coming back and, and expecting to do that well again, and yes, the expectations for me, I think from like the fans were like extremely high, and I mean you could tell by the crowd, even the second when I walked out there, people like expected me to to win again like last year. Oh, Melanie, can you describe how you're feeling right now after the loss? I mean, of course, I'm like disappointed. Um, I mean, and then doing doing so well last year and coming in not losing second round this year um, is definitely disappointing but the thing is like uh, like I said I still have hopefully like 10 more years in my career hopefully 10 more US Opens ahead of me so um, I'll definitely be looking forward again to what next year I mean this is still my favorite tournament. As a tournament approach Melody were you feeling you know once it started getting a couple weeks away were you what were your feelings like? Were you like really getting pumped up and excited about it, or are you starting to feel like, whoa, it's going to be, you know, kind of tough because of the expectations? What was going through your mind? Um, well, I definitely um, felt a little bit of the expectations like gearing up because of the U.S. Open Series tournaments had been pretty crazy with the Williams sisters not playing, so I was the top American in the draw. Um, so that was pretty different uh, for me, but. Um, but coming into here, I mean, I was really excited, you know, to be back at the U.S. Open again. I mean, like, coming back and seeing everything and, like, remembering everything from last year. I mean, I was definitely, like, really excited to be back again in New York. What do you feel like you've learned from having this different of a U.S. Open experience and, and sort of over the last year, too? Um, I think I've learned a lot. I mean, playing, I've played totally, uh, totally differently from like last year and then this year playing with no pressure last year being the complete underdog with no expectations and then coming in this year even though I'm not seated but people expect me to do like extremely well and their the expectations are a ton higher um so I think I've, I've played under both circumstances now so next year coming into it I mean it can only be like one or the other so I'll be used to I mean I'll be able to handle it you have a greater appreciation perhaps of some of the people at the top and what the expectations are on them and how they respond to it and I just wonder have you asked any of the other uh, uh, women uh, what it's like? Yeah, I, no, I've, I haven't asked any of them um, really what it's like but I mean I can't even imagine winning the US Open last year for Kim and then coming back this year and um, you know people expecting her to do it again I mean that's that's really really tough um, but for me, it, it's I think it's different for me though because the U.S. Open last year was the f like well I did about Wimbledon, but U.S. Open was the first really really good tournament that I did last year. I mean I I didn't have any amazing tournaments, and that was the main one that happened to be I happened to play the best at the U.S. Open, biggest Grand Slam of the year pretty much. Um, so coming in this year, I mean people expecting me to do that well, but it was like. It was like one tournament, just like I said, it was only one tournament last year. And I mean, there's like, a, I mean, of course there's like some chance, but it's not like I'm going to play my best tennis, like guaranteed, you know, coming back the, the same tournament that I played my best tennis last year. It just doesn't always happen. Is there perhaps a bit of a, of a, a 
emotional relief at having gone through this cycle and sort of, okay, I'm back, I've, I've seen how this could go? Uh, I guess you kind of, because now it's like, it's like over, I guess I'm a little tiny bit relieved now, I can like kind of start over, I guess. Like start over from um, like all the expectations from like last year, and now I can just go on and hopefully do really well the rest of the year and keep working hard. And then um, gear up for the next Grand Slam, which would be in Australia, and I lost first round this year, so um, hopefully I can only do better. Well, any technical question? You're 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 very quick, and you've got a big forehand, uh, more of a weapon it seems in your backhand. Uh, yet you don't seem to run around the backhand too much to set yourself up to dictate with the forehand. Can you elaborate on? Your well, that way? normally I do try to do that, but today, as you saw, I I didn't because normally when I get tight, um, my feet stop moving, and <laughs> that's pretty much what happened today. Um, I didn't think I moved very well, and I think I, I really know why, because it was because I was nervous and, and I got tight, and um, also I don't swing as fast when that happens, and so I think that's why my forehand wasn't working, like you said as well, um, especially like the downline shot, that's like one of my favorite shots, and I hardly made that today at all. You said something the other day about not getting any taller. How tall are you? Five, six. <coughs> Well, at least that's what the doctor told me. <laughs> but people tell me that I'm only five five and a half, but I'm going to five six, as the doctor said. So how much hair did you actually lose? Twelve inches. Twelve. So yeah, it's like a new look. I mean, I feel good. I guess that's like a little bit of a relief too. It's like way easier. It only takes me like five minutes to get ready now instead of like having like a lot longer hair. So. Well, were you surprised? Um, a little bit because I felt so good going into it. I thought I had a really good warm up this morning. I mean, I relaxed the whole day. I felt really, really good. Um, but the thing is, I was I was tight also when I started on Ash my first match. Um, but after the first set, after I'd gotten ahead or whatever, I I was fine. I mean, the second set I I cruised. I was playing really well, moving well, and everything. But I think today, um, I was playing someone top 30 in the world and can't really get away with. Um, playing like tight in the beginning she would jump all over me which is what happened so I had to play even better in the second set to be able to come back and and I thought I'd play better and I definitely had my chances um, but she was the better player today uh, just a question off of last year you still write believe on your shoes or did when and if not when did you stop uh, this year I wrote courage on them yeah uh, and then it was a new design and everything but because I, I mean, I wanted to like change it up. So hopefully next year there'll be a different word. <laughs> Last question, please. What is something special which what you're preparing for match against Bandarenko? What do you know about her? What was the plan for the match? Um. Well, I never played her before. Just seen her play, and uh, I thought that her backhand was stronger than her forehand, and um, I was gonna try to slice a lot of backhands, which I did. Um, and also uh, try to like rush her forehand a lot, um, but she she played well today. I thought um, off of both sides, 